Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We are discussing about the antigen processing. Hope you remember the antigen processing of cytosolic pathogen to MHC1. I am sure that you might have several questions. So, my suggestion will be I hope you already read that. So, if you have any question, you read the book first, okay, because in book there are many things you may find which is not discussed in the class as well as you will find something which your uh, which will make your conception very clear. We have one more MHC right MHC 2 which is presenting the intravesicular pathogen or the antigen coming from outside okay, by phagocytosis or macropinocytosis. There are two complete channel there are two different pathways. Okay, because MHC2 is helping I mean uh, or activating the helper cells, MHC1 is activating the cytotoxic T cells. So, they, they should not cross react, okay. they cross react, their cross reaction should not hamper their activity, because if MHC2 somehow interact with the cytotoxic T cell that will be a real havoc in immune system. Okay. So, there is that is why evolution made two distinct channel. Okay. So, again I mean today's lecture I mean this is um, again we are going to discuss about the generation of alpha beta T cell receptor, but today or in this lecture we are going to talk about the processing for what is happening in MHC 2 loading or MHC 2 presentation of antibody okay, uh, antigen. Next slide. So, is MHC class 2 complex are generated in acidified endocytic vesicles that proteins obtained through endocytosis, phagocytosis, or autophagy? Either one, because what is happening that vesicle is having the protein, lysosome is fusing, and these two vesicles that phagosome or endosome or autophagosome they fuse with lysosome and these become together I mean there is so single vesicles and that is going to degrade all the protein and we already know that we talked during the early uh, classes. This picture is very state forward representation of what is happening. So, this one this one this is the this is cytosol there is a vacuole kind of thing. Okay. So, this endosome or phagosome the protein is coming here they will make a vesicle this vesicle with fuse with lysosome it will be degraded. Okay. So, this whole protein you see this filamentous protein is into small pieces all the red circles and here actually what happened this is fused with the vesicle where the MHC 2 is there and this processed peptide is fit into MHC 2 and going out. So, vesicle containing peptide fuse with the vesicle which has MHC. So, what is happening that if you remember in the last lecture in the uh, early part of the last lecture we are discussing like any protein coming I mean staying in the membrane they are going inside when their job is over. So, there are always in cell if you see the cell there are always some incoming endosome okay. and there are some vesicle which is formed like this picture. So, vesicle form taking outside material coming inside there are some endosome coming inside what is happening the vesicle which has this MHC 2 or MHC class 2 containing vesicles they are seeing both of them. So, one which is in like this slide which is coming from outside from extracellular space through endocytosis or phagocytosis and there are some MHC sitting outside with different proteins or internal proteins they are also coming because 
uh, some receptor mediated endocytosis or endocytosis is happening. These vesicles with MHC2 are moving here and there. So, they meet each other and they fuse and it will be fitted with this processed peptide. Okay. And after that this vesicle will go and present the <coughs> present the antigen by MHC 2. Okay. MHC 2 is very very stable I mean like with, with peptide. This, this fitting is very important MHC 2 or MHC 1 both of them their turnover time is few days because you know what is happening when there is an infection in the side by virus or there is a bacterial infection what is happening the material or the antigen from tissue site of infection they are going to nearest lymph node and they stay there which is presented to T cell that takes few days 2 to 4 days. So, if MHC is not stable with that if there is any uh, uh, thing happen that they are degraded or something happened then they cannot serve the purpose because one infection happened here it will taken up by the antigen presenting cell they will carry it go to nearest lymph node then it will present to T cell if it takes 2 to 4 days the MHC with antigen uh, processed antigen should be there outside the surface of the dendritic cells as well as macrophage till then when M, uh, uh, T cell see them and activate it. So, this process should not be hampered by anything right otherwise immune system will not work if it lost its structure or if it lose its antigen by I mean antigen by any chance suppose this is MHC all protein protein interaction is what all protein protein interaction is non covalent. So, it is reversible it should not stay for long time. So, to chop them into pieces such a way the affinity should be very 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 high. If affinity is low if they just fall apart in very short period of time. So, what is going to happen is suppose some I give you something to say you are taking something from a shop to your home and if you cannot hold this material till you reach home and drop it on on the way what will happen you cannot take that material to home most of the time right. So, here is that. So, you have to hold this material till you reach home then you drop it. So, that within that period you have to make sure that no way you just drop it or miss it or putting somewhere same way MSC should hold that after holding the antigen in the site of infection it should bring to the lymph node. So, and stay so long that it activate the T cell that is why this fitting is very important this processing is very important and that anti I mean that is why all part of the antigen is not epitope. So, whole protein will be chopped into multiple pieces very few of them are going to fit into MHC that is why all protein are not well, all part of the protein is not epitope all small pieces are not epitope some of them which will really satisfy this can fit into MSC and their association will stay for 3 to 4 days only can serve the purpose of T cell activation in uh, immune system. So, that is very very important that we need to I mean this is just to clear your concept otherwise it will not take more than 5 minutes to say what is happening. It is it's just few things protein is coming it is chopped fit into MHC 2 going out, but what is the background what is happening actually just to understand how immune system work I am telling all this thing. So, these these until unless you understand that so whole concept or whole immune system you cannot imagine it is just mere few facts and uh, that that will not explain you like how immune system works. Here dendritic cell is also presenting antigen by MHC 2 macrophage and B cell is also presenting uh, antigen by MHC 2 they have slight difference in their final work. Dendritic cell is bringing the antigen from site of infection to lymph node and what they are doing they mostly activate the T cell in this case uh, MHC 2 they mostly activate the T helper cells which in turn 
in going to help either cytotoxic T cell or B cell to produce antibody. Okay. But dendritic, uh, but macrophage and B cell also doing the same thing or similar thing, but they do one more thing. So, in along with the activation of T helper cell to help cytotoxic T cell or um, B cell to produce antibody, they also activate the T H 1 response. T H 1 response means it is also telling one kind of T cell to activate on macrophage, so that it can realize that something in growing inside like in case of intracellular pathogen, which is a very important job for macrophage only or mostly macrophage. Exactly dendritic cell is not doing anything I cannot say, but mostly macrophage is doing that helping or activating the TH1 response, so that it can save itself also, because Lysmania, Mycobacterium they are growing inside the macrophage. So, they are activating a specific set of T cells which help macrophage to uh, kill the intracellular pathogen. So, this thing I hope you understand this is very uh, straightforward, right. So, it is coming chopped fit into MHC 2 and going to membrane, but now as it happened in uh, case of MHC 1 as long as this peptide is not fit into it MHC 2 is also unstable, because what I said that MHC 2 containing vesicle will fuse with this endosome. So, before that before this peptide come into picture MHC 2 how it was stable there is something must be there right. So, this is actually there is one more thing okay. what is happening. So, this green platform is a cell membrane the green platform is a cell membrane there are 3 MHC 2 you can see the yellow one 3 MHC 2 they are uh, already uh, anchored in the membrane. So, if you see this part there is one part is very shadow kind of thing this is actually below the membrane. So, what is happening what is happening if this is the membrane okay, this this part is what is in the cytosolic tail of this MHC 2 is shaded which is below which we cannot see here. So, there are another protein okay, there are another protein you can see the green kind of snake kind of structure another protein so just assume one instead of three there is another protein this protein has a this uh, violet domain this specific name is there it is called clip. Okay. So, this green protein is also another membrane bound protein which will if you see this picture it will be much uh, better to understand see this picture this protein some part is in the bottom and which will fit into this peptide binding cleft okay, which makes it stable any MHC without binding to peptide is very unstable. So, to keep it stable, so there is another protein which will fit like that and there is a dumbbell like structure or globular structure. So, what happen they do not stay together I mean alone. So, 3 MHC and 3 such green protein that clip containing protein are stay together actually trimerize. Okay. So, these complex these complex are stably present in the vesicle, so that MHC will not be degraded or not destabilized or make uh, separated, because two protein alpha and beta chain are two differently anchored. They should stay together by any chance if they go away then the whole purpose is lost. So, just to keep them together three of them again stay together where this termini I mean uh, this domain the trimerization domain in the C terminus end. Okay. This is a type 1 type of membrane protein where N terminus is in the cytosolic domain and C terminus is in the outside. So, this they are this they trimerize actually this domain this um, verbal shape domain is actually trimerized 3 and what if you if you take 3 together all will come together okay. that is how they stabilize inside the vesicle, but if they stay like this how the 
antibody or antigen process antigen will fit right. So, they start their life like this and I already told them when any vesicle formed inside the cell gradually they become acidic ok. Inside that vesicle there are some peptide days or proteolytic enzyme which will this this call actually invariant chain ok this green one is called invariant chain. So, as soon as this vesicle will be acidic and proteolytic enzyme was there which was not active in uh, neutral pH as soon as they become acidic this proteolytic enzyme will be activated. And this proteolytic enzyme activation what it will do is this invariant chain I I actually it is not L I ok. This invariant chain is cleaved. So, you can see next picture this upper part or the C terminal part is cleaved. So, now only this clip part C L I P the violet part clip part is here and its end terminal part which is L I P 10 is still attached to the membrane. This is the first cut further cleavage is going to happen it will cut the other side C terminal end of this um, uh, end terminal end of the clip. So, first C terminal end of the clip is digested by or chopped by the proteolytic enzyme and next step end terminal end of the clip will be chopped. So, ultimately what will happen you see it is just like the MHC 2 it is just like MHC 2 and if you consider the clip is an antigen piece of antigen which is process antigen it is ok fine MHC 2 will be stable. This in this form they maintain when we see this. So, before they fuse with this vesicle MHC 2 uh, had that clip with it. So, one vesicle with MHC and clip and another vesicle with peptide will come I am repeating again. So, the MHC 2 containing vesicle is actually having MHC 2 with this clip molecule with this clip molecule another vesicle is having chopped or processed antigen which is coming from outside or external or internal protein, but coming from outside ok. Different vesicle with peptide another vesicle with clip what will happen next what happened next. So, this is what I was talking actually. So, this was initially like this and then it chopped only clip is there. So, clip containing MHC 2 and this vesicle fused together clear then one thing should happen then clip should go and antigen should fit. So, one big protein so one big protein so this is one big protein ok and this protein after I mean proteolytic cleavage I am talking about this one I am talking about this one after proteolytic cleavage. So, so that after proteolytic cleavage it chopped into different pieces ok. So, now each piece each such piece is each circle here I just told you all, all the pieces are not good to fit into the MHC to give it a stable structure. So, the best fit candidate should be there. So, that MHC antigen complex should stable for at least 2 to 4 days till the T cell get activated after that it is fine ok. So, now what happened this clip this clip molecule should be replaced by this clip molecule should be replaced by this peptide who helped that there is another protein very similar to MHC very similar to MHC which is called HLA DM which also has a alpha and beta subunit very similar only difference or state there are many difference but straight forward difference they do not have any peptide binding cleft ok. This is also present. So, it is present here also, but we are gradually increasing in the slide just to understand. So, it is not alone there is one more protein on side which is not shown here, but it is shown here. This DM is actually 
this HLA-DM which is another immunoglobulin type of protein and very similar to the MHC molecule. This is a kind of saperon activity. What it is doing? This MHC is here. So, as soon as DM attached to it, MHC become unstable. MHC become unstable. So, what happened? As soon as it unstable, the clip fall apart. So, clip was like this. Okay. Clip was like attached. As soon as this space or the space between this finger increase, the clip fall apart. And so, the space is now vacant, the space is now vacant. Okay. So, this space vacant space will not vacant, remain vacant. What will happen? There are so many pieces of peptides as, as soon as it clip fall apart, one of the peptide will come and take this position. Clear? So, clip fall apart and one peptide will come and this position. How long it will stay? If the binding is perfect and this is the best fit, it will be stable. Otherwise, what will happen? One will come, if it is not good, it will be replaced again because DM is still attached. Okay. DM protein HLA DM will keep this open till there will be lot of exchange of peptides. So, there are hundreds of peptides of variety of size, variety of sequence and DM is attached to MHC. So, they will one by one although it is a random process one by one they will come and go until unless it become a, uh, or the MHC get the best peptide to fit into it. As soon as it become best fit peptide if the binding is so strong then DM cannot open it anymore. Okay, the HLA DM cannot open it anymore. So, there is one more protein which is uh, not shown here called HLA DO. Okay. The another protein is HLA H L A D O. This HLA DO sorry I cannot see that H L A D O. This HLA DO is a negative regulator of HLA DM. Okay. Because if it continues HLA DM keep it open then the, the exchange will never end, it will continuously exchange, but we immune system will not work that way. So, HLA DM is going to attach as long as best fit is happening. As soon as best fit happen, HLA DM, DM and MHC interaction will be little loose and HLA DO will come into picture and take this HLA DM away. And as soon as it detached, it will be clipped by cryptolytic enzyme and HLA DO will help that. So, after that this complex if you can see this, this is a stable one and again it will migrate to the membrane and stably stay as long as MHC I mean the helper T cell is activated. So, this is very very important. This is very simple and straightforward. If you consider that there is a protein, I mean things simple way, forget all this thing. There is a protein which stabilizes MHC2 as long as there is no peptide, and this is big protein, two processing is there, two chopping is happening in endocytic vesicle, only clip part is attached to it. So, how all this thing is discovered? Uh, because there are some patient or there are some mutation happen or forceful mutation has been done in mouse or some patient where antigen processing is not good and it was found say the DM protein is mutated. Okay, they, have, they found that some patient who antigen processing is not happening properly that is why the immune system is not act, acting properly. It was found like DM protein I mean when the genome was analyzed like there is a protein called HLA DM is not uh, working perfectly. Then people started doing research and seeing what is happening. Okay. But HLA DO same way HLA DM is so important at the same time HLA DO working as a negative regulator, but if HLA DO is not working there or there is a malfunctioning of HLA DO antigen processing is not hampered that much. So, its function is also not very clear how exactly what is happening but it is there as long as HLA DO is there it is doing its job, but when it is not there processing is not that much hampered. I told you 
uh, in the beginning also many part of the immune system is still not clear many thing we just assume and it is like it is not like immunologist not I mean any those who are doing research active research on all this thing uh, active research on all this thing they also cannot tell many thing because what is happening actually immune system is working its own way. Okay. So, it is not depending on what we understood or not it has its own function it is working all possible way what the scientists are trying trying to understand what is happening it is not always possible to answer why it is not always possible to answer why this thing is happening, but what we can say is that this thing is happening what is the advantage of this. We can say many many cases like if it is not there what will be the problem, but if you say why it is there how it is developed it is not known it is evolutionary process everything is uh, uh, doing uh, working together scientists or the researchers are trying to understand what is happening and how it is beneficial that is our job okay. and our job for this particular class is what is so far discovered minimum way how much we can understand in the basic immunology course everything we cannot discuss here it is not scope of this course as well as it will be I mean one part will take the whole course will cover the whole just this antigen processing part. So, many things are there, but the outlining of all this thing what is happening you have to just remember to understand the immune system. Okay. But what happened normally? Normally when there is no infection normal means a normal individual when there is no infection I told once in the last two uh, few lectures back that number of MHC on the surface is not as much before infection. So, they are very few just few in number I just gave an example like if you culture macrophage and see how many um, suppose there is a device how many MHC molecules are there in the surface you count and give some bacteria to macrophage to eat them and after few hours you see how many MHCs are there what you will see is the number of MHC molecule on the surface increased. So, why it is not happen I mean why how because the protein is synthesizing why they are not expressing. So, some very brief I mean uh, just a glimpse to you that normally what happen normally this is a basically where a lot of MHCs are there say 3 MHC molecules are there with clip molecule. Okay. So, there is another protein called March 1. So, when there is no infection this March 1 protein is helping to ubiquitinate this MHC. Okay, this March 1 is expressing normally suppose there is no infection you see infection means TLR will involve if there is a bacteria infection. So, what is happening this March ubiquitinated this MHC is producing, but it is ubiquitinated by this protein and you know what is going to happen what is the fate of the ubiquitinated protein any protein ubiquitinated means it will be degraded by proteasome. So, the number even it was initially 3 2 of them degraded 1 go in the membrane, okay. but what happen after infection as soon as infection is there the lipopolysaccharide the LPS of bacteria cross link this TLR this cross linking of the TLR give the signal to the nucleus do not make any more March protein. Okay. No I mean do not express any March protein. So, if you do not make any March protein what will happen the number of March protein will be less and it is written in the slide also to see the March protein half life is only 30 minutes. So, up to 30 minutes all the existing March will be there. So, it will destroy most of the MHC. But after 30 minutes of this signal no more March 1 gene will be expressed. So, if there is no March 1 gene expressed all the MHC expressed will be active. So, as a result what we will see more amount of MHC is going. So, it is not that MHC 1 is not synthesizing 
without infection. It is cell is always preparing it. So, no risk is I mean there is no risk I mean all the antigen presenting cells are always expressing MHC 2 because they I mean body does not know when the infection will happen. So, it is they have a backup preparation, but when we do not need it is degraded as soon as we need them that degradation is stopped why because the protein involved the March 1 which is degrading this MHC or helping the degradation of MHC 2 is uh, no more there inside the cell okay. as soon as it disappear as well the as usual the MHC 2 was expressing they will make more and more MHC 2 and cell will make more and more presentation. So, that immune system can work better way. Okay. So, this is actually how the antigen is presented. So, MHC 1 antigen processing is totally proteasome based and there are a lot of protein is involved there are few saponin is there calreticulin, calnexin, ERP 57 they are helping tapsin is bridging the tap, tap is the transporter which transport all the peptides and fit into the MHC 1 going. Okay. In that case also that exchange of the peptide is going on the best fit peptide is fitting into the MHC 1. Here the protein coming outside chopped into vesicles MHC 2 is in another vesicle they are fused DM is destabilizing the MHC 2. So, that clip can be replaced by the peptide and it is the process is going on as long as the best peptide is fitting into MHC 2 and make the strong bond. So, that they can survive 3 to 4 days both of them going to the membrane present the antigen one is MHC 1 and there is MHC 2, but their target is different because MHC 1 interact with the CD 8 activate the cytotoxic T cell. MHC 2 activate the CD 4 that we already shown that which subunit is interacting how it is helping. So, that TCR can interact. Okay. So, this is what happened MHC then we process antigen processing and these small dots are really the epitope which is called B cell uh, sorry T cell epitope. Okay. So, thank you thank you uh, for your patience. So, next class we will discuss new thing.